Okay. Oh, I'm playing Blues and Bullets. Uh, it's a bit of a minute. I'll try and uh, just change the settings. So, this is a uh, episodic adventure game. sensitive the old controls an episode of the adventure game we've only got one one uh, episode at the minute it came out I think at the uh, the beginning of December and they released a uh, Linux version just before Christmas the uh, 22nd I think so let's uh, select a different save file. I'm not gonna uh, not gonna overwrite my existing adventure. So you can see already from the title screen, it's a very stylized, um, you know, stylized. Uh, what, what would you call it? It's an Art Deco look. I think it's set. Um, 20 years after our phone gets arrested for tax evasion and uh, we'll just dive into the story for now and I should warn you there will be spoilers because I'm just going to play it so we're going to start off uh, in a rather spooky looking dungeon so you can see that the art style is uh, this black and white look with flashes of colour a la um, uh, you know, famous movies you might have seen where only the red showed up. Uh, I've got it on high settings. The performance, you can see it's not perfectly smooth doing stuff. I think it's uh, a Unity game. But it's not, you know, it's an adventure game. You're not needing uh, perfect frames all the time for your reactions. One thing I have noticed, now we see some red, one thing I have noticed is that settings don't get saved. So all of those settings I've just changed, the next time I start the game, everything will be back the way it was before. I've not investigated why, whether it's just a, a permissions issue or perhaps a uh, case sensitivity issue of some kind but but yeah the settings the settings aren't as saved other than that the game has worked fine for me so far so I, I was up to um, chapter 10 of episode 1 now I think that's that's just over an hour of uh, gameplay it's crashed one time <laughs> and uh, that was an earlier transition so that happens in quite a lot of games to be fair it's not uh, you know, it's allowable. I reloaded, I went back, and uh, I carried on. It was, you know, it was an annoyance rather than a, a game-breaking crash. Here, it's your turn. It's my turn. Now, one thing I have noticed oh. is you get these old red blurs all over the place. we have only been here 13 days. Examine everything. I'm using my Steam controller. That also has worked mostly fine. Get me out of here, please. There are some uh, shooting bits, but the shooting bits are not. Uh, if we don't escape, I'll be punished. I've been bad. Let's don't calm. worry, I can do this. See, they're there with the choices. What if you can't? We'll be punished. Just like Juliet. You see? One down. That just leaves yours and the one on the door. I'll be punished. I've been bad. I'll be punished. It's okay. Be quiet. <laughs> now, when I played this before, I was given the choice look out, okay? of rescuing the boy or the door. 
Just looking around. And I can tell you. Spooky. Quick, get me out of here. Be quiet. I can tell you the boy is an ungrateful. Ungrateful, uh, yeah. Ooh, let's look at that. Grateful little um, telltale. Now, one thing you should be aware of is alright, how do I get that open? I can't. You have no control of the camera in this game, as far as I can tell. It's, um. What are you doing? Help me, please! What are you doing? Help me, please! There isn't time to open both locks. Yes, quick! B. What are you doing? Help me, please. I don't know. I'm going to be punished. Yeah. So whatever, whatever choice you make, you end up in the wardrobe. And the scary man walks in. With the horny head. Well, we assume he's a man. He could be something supernatural, I suppose. I'm, I'm going for. There. Yeah, he's, he's not nice, is he? She's it? been really bad, hasn't she? He's not nice, my lad. No, horny, horny man. Yeah, I'm going to assume he's a man in a mask. It could be supernatural. We shall see. Uh, there's four more episodes to go. We're <laughs> caught. Spooking is over. So that's that's like the uh, prologue. Now we get more fully into the uh, the main game. Uh, you play. As Elliot Ness. I'm not sure if that's just supposed to be bouncing up and down there, but not a big issue. Who has retired from the police force and uh, opened a diner. So you see the uh, the missing children. This is a uh, This is a key uh, plot element. We just saw some of them, I'm guessing. And we're now following this young policewoman. We get subtitles for even the things that are uh, dulled on walls, which I suppose is nice. You don't get subtitles with the signs unless you look at them. I do. I mean, apart from the the weird, the weird red blurs and these strange filters that you don't seem to be able to turn off, I quite like the visual presentation. Elliot? I'm hoping. Just a second. I'm hoping they will fix all that Alice, motor I releases. Alice, you on the day shift. Pie? Well, I just slipped out for a second. This arrived for you at the station. Thanks. I'll put it in the back room, then I'll get you a slice of pie. Deal? I'm kind of in a hurry. What kind? Blueberry. It's a deal. Okay. So most interactions are the A button. Uh, I don't know if I'll carry on the video long enough to get to the shooting bit, but it's a third person third-person shooter type arrangement I had to totally crank up it's not much but I earned it crank up the sensitivity of the uh, uh, you know the mouse pad let's have a look at the notice board my past or oh, his past let's get it right Uh, 
There we go. Superintendent Ness retires unable to solve the missing children case. Hey, Ness! Where's my burger? God damn it, Ness! You gotta be the slowest waiter in Santa Esperanza! Let's go for threat. Yell at me one more time, and instead of a hamburger, you'll be ordering soup. <laughs> anyway, they catch the deadbeat robbing the pharmacy, but the <clears throat> there's no proof, so they hand him over to me. Elliot, seriously, I don't have much time. Let's get the pie. Yeah, again, one button action. Yeah, so the shooting bit, you have to aim and shoot. Take like your I time. Said, if Jenkins says anything, with the tell him it's my fault. If you do get it. And let him know that I'll continue to keep his agents waiting until he settles his tab. <laughs> I don't think I dare. Mm. But this is worth getting in trouble for. To think, I didn't find my true calling until I was in my 50s. Okay. Now we get to make an order for the the asshole cop. And this time, go easy on the chili sauce. <gasps> Gives me indigestion. Okay. Last time, I just I was I passive aggressive, passive aggressive loaded up with chili sauce. This okay, time. Tell him, if you confess right now, I finish work on time, and everybody's happy. If you don't. I have to work late. I get mad. And I have to rearrange your face. You really said that? There you go. And listen to this, Ness. <laughs> and then I say to him, <laughs> the doctor will have to work late too. And it'll be your fault. He'll be mad. And when he's done fixing your mug, it'll be so ugly, you'll never get laid again. <laughs> he's saying, right? Yeah, like a soprano. <laughs> and you know what I did next, Ness? You rearranged his face. Exactly. You see, criminals are like dogs. <gasps> By the time they get punished, they forget what they did wrong. But a bust-up face is forever. Ah, hot damn! This burger is worth coming here for. Glad to hear it, Dickinson. Wish I could say the same of all my customers. So. Ah, screw you, Ness. So far, I've purposely picked different things to what I picked on my first playthrough. So far, it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference what you choose. Whether the these choices here, right? will. Um, I like have this more job, impact you know? later on, I don't Not know. because I like serving coffee or food. I'm this interested to see how it will people, really. Knowing what they want, what they need. You just have to keep your eyes open. The clothes, the haircut, a little movement, a hand clutching a knife. Don't even think about it. Not because of me. At most, I'd knock out a couple of your teeth before disarming you. The guys you should be worried about are the cops at the other table. They keep kicking you in the ribs long after you passed out. You see more strength, right? You'd be first. lucky to wake up in a hospital. The question is, what do I do with you now? Let's go for severity. I don't care how you screw up your life, but I like this job and I can't afford trouble. So beat it. Now. And if you come back here looking for trouble, you'll find it. Well, that was shorter. You want coffee? Mm-mm. Let's go for gratitude. I forgot to thank you for bringing my pension check. Well, I saved you a trip. And a headache. The station's full of Dickinsons. There we go. Your dad would be proud of you. Thanks. But not Jenkins. Easy there, miss. Slow and steady wins the race. Mm. If I don't get some blackberry pie this minute, I'm gonna die before this day is out. Can you help me, sir? I'm afraid not. That's too bad. 
I need something sweet for my last day on Earth. Blueberry pie? Last slice. Hmm. You use almond extract? Quarter of a teaspoon. Which brand? I make my own. So here we have a couple of kindred spirits. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. Okay. A fateful bullet. So we flash back 20 years ago. Uh, I'll show you this bit before we go on. Oh, before I finish rather. Because it'll show you the shooting which does come up. There have been there are a couple of shooting scenes. Which is sort of an interesting combination. Uh, again, Garrison, O'Reilly, DiPietro, Dockers. Just, just like Garrison, the uh, O'Reilly, DiPietro, Dockers. The, you know the adventure bits. Garrison, O'Reilly. You don't have DiPietro, much control over the cameras, Dockers. but you can pick uh, who and what you're shooting at. It doesn't seem to me like. Garrison, There's O'Reilly, any great strategy Pietro, behind Dockers. who you shoot first. They all just seem to have the same guns. You just go in there, shoot them all one at a time, trying not to die. You, call your boss. I have business to settle with him. <sighs> Can't even enjoy a quiet smoke. Look, I get it. It's Christmas. You're lonely and you want to end it all. But Santa Esperanza is full of bridges. Why not throw yourself off one of them and leave me in peace? Tell Capone that Elliot Ness is here. We're going to finish this thing once and for all. Jeez, I don't get paid enough. Listen, you got it backwards. I'm not here to make my boss come out. I'm here to stop you getting in. That's just starting. I hope you asked Santa Claus for crutches. Because if you don't do what I say, they're going to be the perfect gift for you. Maybe I could borrow a pair from your buddy, Dockers. I hear he's never gonna need him again. You shouldn't have brought that up. Oh no? You gonna cry now? Hey, come on. It's Christmas. That's a pretty impressive punch. Right through the door. At the front gate! Okay, it's so there we go. Put down your weapons. You'll get a fair trial. So we hold the trigger down. And we right trigger to shoot. Keep moving forward. And we knit back into cover. He automatically moves on, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. There are some suspicious looking uh There we go. Handy, eh? Some more suspicious looking red barrels. Let's blow them up. And you get a quick time event, which is a little bit annoying in the middle of a gunfight. But now that I know it's coming, it's manageable. So I think the basic mechanism is aiming cover. Aim in cover and then shoot them. Oh, there he is. Oh, I missed him. One more. Good. 
Come out, come out. Back on the gun there. Side. And there we go. So we're going now into uh, meet Al Capone. I think you've seen all the main aspects of the game so far. The art style, it, it is quite nice. I wish you could turn the filters down a bit, or at least get rid of that weird red glow, bloom, I think. Uh, I've not yet seen massive differences in choices you make that could all come later of course but it is a very stylish looking game it's, you know it's got an art style sticking with it and it it does uh, evoke evoke those uh, feelings of times past uh, uh, go to see Capone so I'll uh, wrap up the video there it's if uh, if you into these episodic adventure games uh, I think this is closer to a telltale style game than, than uh, you know something like Dreamful Chapters it's, it's quite constrained in where you can go and what you can do there are some invisible walls but uh, yeah it's fairly stylish it has has you know quite nice graphics really not completely realistic but interesting what we'll go for that's what we'll say and uh so far, it's, it's it's a somewhat intriguing story. Uh, obviously, we're only in episode one. We'll see how it develops. Uh, but it's on sale on Steam until Monday. So uh, check it out. Native Linux Blues and Bullets.